All right, so let's check out the Neo Geo Mini. Let's talk about this thing. This thing came out back in 2018, and I've had my eye on it ever since. Miraculously, you can still find these things very cheaply, under $60, brand new. I don't know that that's gonna last forever. These have been out for a while. Eventually, they're gonna run out, right? I think these were like 100 bucks or in that range when they came out, and I wasn't trying to drop that kind of money, but at under $60, yeah, I had to pick up one of these. Now, I haven't bought any other mini consoles or mini arcades. Nothing like that. If I was going to get just one, though, this was going to be it. I always knew that. And we'll talk about that a little bit as we go. Let's open this thing up. This is the international version. Now, they came out with several different versions, most of them exclusive to Japan. You can get them online. They're going to cost you a little bit more money in most cases. Most of them come with 40 games on there, and you can see the list here. We'll go ahead and open it up and check it out. See the full game list. Now there are cosmetic differences on the different versions, but also there are differences in the games included. I decided to go with the US or international version here because, well, it came with all the Metal Slug games, that's why. There's the unit. This is very lightweight. This is very small. Very nice though. Comes with the instruction manual. Let's see what's in this little box. Alright, you've got your uh, USB cord to power it. It doesn't come with the power brick, the adapter to go into your wall, so you'll have to provide your own or plug this into something like, you know, your computer or something that's a powered USB source. What is this? We have some stickers. We can get that, yeah, get it to focus. Really nice artwork on there. Love it. Another one right there. Very cool. Got the little Neo Geo sticker here. So I'm, I'm guessing these are actually, you can uh, put these on the little, little device here. Probably throw this sticker up in the marquee there. Once again, here it is. A very nice looking little thing. I do like the look of the Japanese version better. It has some red on it, some rounded edges, but you know what? Doesn't matter. <laughs> This one's pretty sweet too. Got a little uh, USB type C port there for a controller. And there's the player one controller and, and this one's player two controller. So if you want to use it as a little mini console, you can do that. It's got HDMI out as well, headphone jack, and then the power supply right here. I guess this is the button to turn it on and off. Luckily I have a few of these lying around. This cord has got some nice length to it. I'm guessing it's probably about seven feet. Okay, here we go. Got that nice little light up joystick here. Very cool. And that boots up really quick. Games we got Metal Slug 1, 2, X, 3, 4, 5, King of the Monsters 1 and 2, we got Sengoku 3, Magician Lord, it's a pretty cool one, Blue's Journey, very nice, Shock Troopers 1 and 2, Robo Army, Crossed Swords, Mutation Nation, 3 Count Bout, King of the Fighters, uh, rather the King of Fighters 95, 97, 98, 2000, 2002. It's funny how they chose those versions. I don't know if, you know, I, I don't know why they went for like every other year, but that's cool. Art of Fighting, Fatal Fury Special, Real Bout Fatal Fury, Garo Mark of the Wolves, Samurai Showdown 2, 4, and 5 Special. Again, they're jumping around here, but I don't mind. Last Blade 2. We don't get Last Blade 1. That's all right. The World Heroes Perfect, Kizuna Encounter, Ninja Masters, Top Players Golf, Super Sidekicks, Football Frenzy, Blazing Star, Last Resort, Ghost Pilots, Puzzled, and we're back. Alright, let's just hop into one of these games and see, see how it plays. Always love me some Metal Slug. Now the buttons aren't colored or labeled, so that's, that's something. I just hope they're, I mean, I imagine they're mapped appropriately. Okay. This is pretty loud, actually. Hold on. I don't know how to, uh, 
Okay, so pressing both of those buttons, as one might assume, you get to this menu, you can change the brightness, you can do save states, I guess. Pretty cool. I'm gonna lower the volume, it just seems a little bit loud, and that was only halfway. So yeah, this thing goes really loud. I'm not trying to yell over this thing. So far I can say this screen looks really nice. This is a nice size, I mean it's very small, it'll easily fit on your desk. This joystick is really nice, you know, you can shoot up and walk at the same time. So it's very nice and sensitive, works perfectly, just like you would expect, you know. The buttons feel good. Screen looks great, very sharp. Of course the performance is going to be just fine. You see a little bit of slowdown, but I'm almost positive that's how it always was in the arcades anyway, so... Yeah, I'm going to have a blast with this. I'm going to have an absolute blast with this. Let's back out and check on some other games though. So yeah, I don't know how this looks or sounds on the camera, but I can tell you it looks and sounds great in person. If you're a Neo Geo fan, this thing is an absolute no-brainer at under 60 bucks. I mean, perfect little thing to have sitting on your desk or something. Just play for a few minutes when you're bored, that kind of thing. I'm not good at this game. Just want to kind of test out the, the joystick and whatnot. Now, like I said, you can pick up controllers for this. You can connect it to a TV or monitor and use it as a mini console. That's not really what I intended to use this for. I didn't buy any controllers. I honestly just wanted to have this thing sitting on my desk for some, you know, quick little fun sessions and also just as a cool thing to have. Hey boss. Oh yeah, I'm working on it right now. Just super swamped over here, you know? Yeah, I've been busy, real busy. I'll, I'll get that sent over to you right now. Yeah, okay. No problem. All right, bye. So that's why I like this one over other mini consoles, because it's a self-contained unit. It, it's a whole little thing here. It's a little arcade machine. And why I like this better than other mini arcade machines is that it's got 40 games on it, dude. 40 games. Most of these other little mini arcades... They'll have a little handful of games, or if not just one. Yeah, 40 games. Yeah, very good quality as well. Sure, there are some games that I wish were on here. You know, it's not the entire Neo Geo library, not by a long shot, but 40 games, dude. You got a good variety. Lots of fighting games, a few shooters, a few platformers, beat-em-ups, what have you. Even a couple sports games. Um... Yeah, there's something for everybody on this little thing. Great game, beautiful graphics. The Neo Geo was, of course, so ahead of its time, you know? Compared to anything else out there at the time. Has such detailed sprites and, oh man, just beautiful. And these games really stand the test of time. They're just a ton of fun to play today. So yeah, the screen can go pretty bright. I don't know what's going to look best on the camera. I'm just going to leave it where it was at. I think it might be looking a little bit faded. I know you can also, uh, you can hack this thing, you can throw on your own emulators for other classic systems, add games to it. I don't think I want to do any of that, I just want to leave it as it is. I think it's pretty great already. Let's play Blazing Star. I want to play a shooter real quick. I kind of wish we had Twinkle Star sprites on here. Uh, maybe a couple of other games, but you know, you can't get everything on any of the versions out there. But each of the versions out there has something cool. It has its own strengths. And I'm really happy to have this little thing. It's just a solid build. Great library of games. Now, the other thing is there's no internal battery here. So it's not a portable thing. It's always going to have to be plugged in whenever you use it. However, I imagine you could plug it into a little power bank if you really want to take it on the go. But really, this is just something fun to have sitting on your desk or have it laying around. I'm sure, you know, guests come over, they would love to play it or... Yeah, 
think I've said all I've, I've got to say. I'm just enjoying myself. I'm going to leave an affiliate link for the Amazon page down below if you want to support the channel. I appreciate that very much. No pressure. You can also probably buy these used and save a few bucks on eBay. Well worth it though, dude. I'm very impressed. I'm very happy with this thing. If you like Neo Geo, classic games, you want something fun to have lying around that you can just pick up and play anytime for a few minutes, uh, absolutely highly recommend this thing. This is really impressive, great value, just from how much you're getting out of this thing. The versatility, use it as a mini console, use it as a self-contained little mini arcade cab. It's comfortable, it's small enough to fit anywhere, but it's big enough that my hands don't feel cramped. I can, I can use everything comfortably. I can see the screen even with my old man eyes. Yeah, this is great. So, anyways, just thought I'd share this with you guys. I'm happy to finally, finally have one of these things. It's very, very cool. Anyways, thanks for watching today, guys. I will see you when I see you. Sorry my voice is messed up. I've been sick and uh, otherwise just busy. Yeah, I've been busy. Real busy. I don't know what uh, the new year is going to bring to this channel. Maybe taking a little bit of a break, some time off to uh, reflect. Got to take care of life. So anyways, though, thank you so much for sticking around. I hope you've had a happy new year, had a happy holiday season, and I'll be seeing you around. Take care. Till next time.